Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Hi, hotties, kettles, teasters. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. We have to talk about the rollout for Mimosas with Melody because it's coming and it's going to be this weekend. We got to get loaded. We got to get ready because I haven't talked about Mimosas with Melody that much, mainly because I've been getting ready for it. I've had to order a couple of dresses because I don't think my dress is going to be here in time, but that's not why we're here. Let's talk about this rollout because there are a a lot of special guests that are going to be here that I'm super excited to hear from. So let's get into it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. Let me just go ahead and give you guys a disclaimer, a warning, and a teaser. The person I'm most excited to see and hear from other than Melody is Miss Derricka Hartwell. You guys may remember Miss Derricka Hartwell from a live that she did with Melody Cherie some time ago talking about her issues and what she has going on but I know Erica or Derricka Hartwell from the case that she is currently going through at this moment so somebody tried to put a hit out on her that person is now going through trial at this moment that person also tried to put a hit out on another content creator that is over on TikTok so that is how I know of Miss Derricka Hartwell but it was so interesting to me that she was on Mills Live once upon a time and she shared her story with a bunch of us. And like I said, I'm excited to see her because her story is so impactful and it is just so real. And it's just, she probably isn't going to speak about her story there, but there's so much more to her that she speaks about that I'm so inspired about. And I'm, I'm just, I really and really am excited to see her specifically. Ms. Derricka Hartwell, in my opinion, is pro I stand against abuse. So the rollout is here. Let's get into it. The keynote speaker will be Hill Harper. And you guys know Mill has a good relationship with Hill Harper and has done many speaking engagements with him. He's also a candidate for the U.S. Senate. Now, that being said, Jay Bolin is going to be there, which I'm also excited for because I've been purchasing a lot of his shit. Now, I'm not going to be wearing none of it at the event, but I've been purchasing some of his stuff. So I do have some questions and Y'all have questions too. Because if I'm not mistaken, I believe Jay Bolin is just the stylist and he curates pieces and sends those over to a wholesale distributor to create them and ship them out. That's what I was under the impression of. But some of you are under the impression that he's just a stylist that picks out items from different boutiques to sell off. Regardless of whatever, I'm going to ask and I'm going to come back and I'm going to let y'all know. But I do have a lot of the pieces. I haven't gotten a chance to wear them yet, but I do want to wear them. The summertime coming up, we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see because the wintertime is gone. So the stuff that I got for winter, I'm not going to be wearing that. But the summertime is coming up. So we'll see. A lot of the stuff that I bought in the winter time was for the summertime. A man by the name Ivan Thomas is going to be there and it says that he's a celebrity public relations expert and a motivational speaker and an author. So it's interesting to hear more about him and a lot of the people that I'm not really familiar with. I'm just interested to see who Mill brings about for her speakers. And I'm sure you all are excited as well. But again, this is just how you do it professionally. She is giving us the rollout prior to in advance. We already knew Hill Harper was going to be there when she first talked about this. So I like how she has slowly but surely rolled out more people because we knew Hill Harper. We knew Jay Bolin. We knew Shanita. But baby, she ate down with this one. I don't know if you guys like Drew 
Sedora, but I love Drew Sedora. And that song that she has with Candace, I have that on my Apple Music. That song eats down. I listen to it all the time. It's called Affirmations. Y'all should download it if y'all like it. I love Drew Sedora. I really do like her. I know some of you guys didn't like her on Real Housewives of Atlanta, but I liked her on the show as well. So I'm interested to hear from her, see what it is that she has to say, what she's going to talk about, and if she's going to be giving us any updates, it, which she probably won't, but you know, I'm just... A girl can only dream, right? A man by the name Chris Sane is going to be there, and he's a financial investor. So, Mel has a good lineup, in my opinion. She's giving us some reality. She's giving us business entrepreneurs. She's giving us politics. She's giving us a lot. Because she has a pretty good net worth. You guys know her friend, Shanita. She has Sharnita and then Shanita, who is always supporting Mel. She's always involved in all of Mel's events. So I like that from Shanita, but Shanita got a lot of shit going on, okay? She got the who's your coach thing going on. There's a lot of people that really love and respect Shanita. Um, she is a mentor of the sort. She's into business. In my opinion, she got a pretty decent network as well. And she is always pretty positive. Now, I don't know how the hell these people be able to be this positive, but... I like that. I like that. So I'm interested to see and hear from her because she does a lot of speaking engagements already. She is well known. So I can't wait to hear from her. Like I spoke about earlier, Dr. Derricka Hartwell, who I am so excited about. So, so far, Mel has a pretty clean lineup. She has a really good lineup and I'm super excited to hear from everyone. I'm excited to see everyone. I know I want to see what y'all going to be looking like, y'all outfits and stuff. So like I said, the lineup looks really good she has singers musicians reality stars uh, she has producers she has people in politics she has people entrepreneurs financial advisors etc a very long lineup Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know if y'all interested or if y'all are excited. The event is Black Tie. It cost about, it depends on which tickets that you purchase. It was anywhere between $200 and $400. And that was if you got general admission and or VIP. Tamika Gibson will also be in attendance. It says that she's an entrepreneur and she does $35 million in sales, babe. So Get your notebooks ready because y'all can be picking a few brains. And of course, Miss Van will be in attendance. She's listed as America's favorite and that's literally her legitimate title because that's legit. I mean, there's literally so much to look forward to. I was able to pick my menu items. I just need to pick my dress. It is black tie. It is a formal event. I don't know if she's going to be doing an after party after the event. She hasn't mentioned it. So the after party might not be this go round. If you guys missed the live show or the meter after party i believe this is the event that you need to be in attendance for it's elegant it's formal suit tie my type of event i love these type of events where you get all dressy and a gown hair makeup etc y'all get in the comment section let me know what you think about all of this don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that i upload yeah, yeah. i pull up roto winner down I pull up roto window down Yeah I pull up roto window down Baby you don't know what you do to me Between me and you I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give You can't be a part of the world It's not 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 a part of the world